And we get started with a lot of breaking news at noon. First up, an officer involved shooting in Vancouver. It happened just a little more than an hour ago at the Peace Health Hospital building just off of Mill Plain near I-205. Our Jennifer Dowling is there and just got an update from officials. Jennifer, what can you tell us about this shooting? That's right. We just heard from the spokesperson, Fred Neiman of the Clark County Sheriff's Office, and he says that the shooting happened inside this tower here on the fifth, fifth floor. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see it. This is the Peace Health Southwest Medical Center here in Vancouver. He says they're still in the early stages of the investigation, but they do know the call came in at 1041 in the morning. An inmate from the Clark County Jail was involved. He was receiving treatment here, and he was being guarded by two corrections deputies. Now the inmate was shot. We don't know if it was by both deputies or just one and was taken into surgery and is in surgery at this time. We don't know his condition. The regional major crimes team is on the scene being led by Vancouver police. And again, we don't know if both officers fired weapons or how severe the injuries were to this patient. There were reports that perhaps the patient might have lunged at the deputies early on. That was on some scanner traffic picked up by the Columbian but can't confirm at this time exactly what happened, if he may have had a weapon or not, or if this was just some perceived threat by the two corrections officers that were guarding him. But they were the only ones involved. Vancouver police say they were not just those two deputies, but Vancouver police will be taking the lead on this investigation as part of that major crimes investigative team. Now, again, no injuries to anyone else. The deputies are okay, as well as hospital staff. And hospital officials tell us that because this was confined to one area, the only thing that's unusual right now is the police presence and the ongoing investigation. But otherwise, it's business as usual because there is no danger to the public. And we could get some briefings later in the day to find out more about what led up to the shooting. We'll bring those two here and at coin.com. Back to you.